Hello and welcome to the shop. A couple of months back, a buddy of mine, Tim Geist, sent me this jig. Now what it enables you to do is cut the perfect length pin blank every single time. I wasn't able to set it up and start using it right away because my old bandsaw had some mechanical problems. Well, since then, I've gone ahead and purchased another bandsaw from Lynn Lacey over at LL Woodworks. I've got it in the shop. I've got it set up, leveled the table. It's ready to go. So today, I'm going to put this jig together, and we're going to test it out and see just how well it works. There are these two little blocks on the back of the jig, and what they're for, they allow you to lock the jig against your miter gauge. We're going to start by placing the edge of the jig just to where it's kissing the blade. I'm going to tighten down the bolts on these two hold downs. Once everything is in place, the jig easily comes away from the miter gauge, but you can drop it right back into place when you're ready to use it. And there is no left or right play, which is what you're after. I've loosened up the bolt on this block, and I'm going to take this spacer and I'm going to push it right up against the blade. Now I'm going to back it off about a sixteenth of an inch. This will be the waste that you will sand away from your blank each time you make it. We'll move this block right over against the leg of the spacer. We'll get the spacer out of the way and I'm going to tighten this block down. If I put the spacer back onto the jig, you can see that it's against the block right here but it leaves just that little bit at the edge of the blade and that is the waste that I'll be sanding away from my blank. To use the jig, you take your tube, in this case a Sierra tube, put it on this side of the jig, bring your block of wood to this side of the jig, and cut. And what you will see is we have a perfect length blank. I am really starting to see how a jig like this can be invaluable in a shop like mine. Being able to drop a tube, be it a long tube or a short tube, on this side of the jig and cut a blank one sixteenth of an inch longer than that jig every single time is just amazing. Uh, I don't really do craft shows anymore, but those of you out there who are doing craft shows and you're batching out your pins and you've got 50, 100 pins that you want to cut, this thing can save you a considerable amount of time. It's super simple. Uh, what I'm going to do is if, if you are interested in it, I'm going to go ahead and put Tim's contact information in the comments below. But the cool thing about this is it's already got my mind, my mind working. You've seen me cut those Spectraply blanks where I cut the quarter inch segments off and then I glue them back up and rotate them. I'm thinking about opportunities to make custom pin blanks with this jig, and I think it's going to open up some doors for some really cool future pin blanks. So stay tuned for that. I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. This was just a short video. I've been wanting to put this together for a while so I can use it. Uh, this was the big holdup for me, just having the time to get out and, and put the saw together and put the uh, jig together. I really appreciate you coming to see me in the shop. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening, everybody.